right, so this is an intro to my channel, um, Road to a Million. Just want to talk a little bit about what my channel is going to be about, about me, stuff like that. Um, so pretty much I'm going to do a challenge. I'm going to see how fast I can make a million dollars by doing whatever means necessary. Um, my name's Courtney. I'm a veteran. I was in the Navy for five years. I do receive income um, monthly from the VA. Um, I pay about $3,000 a month in bills. I receive about $2,000 from the VA. Um, so I don't have a job. I had a job when I got out. I hated it. I quit. And now I just, I do my eBay. So, I've done eBay in the past, um, quite a bit. So, I'm like, you know, might as well just make it a full-time job. So, for starting this challenge, I think I'm just going to start with eBay, because that's what I know, and that's the easiest thing. Uh, I will uh, share my eBay account with you guys. Um, I will put a link in the description, so if you want to look at it, see how I do my listings, how I take my pictures, my descriptions, all of that. Um, I know a lot of eBay or a lot of YouTubers don't share their eBay accounts, or at least not all of them. But I, I don't mind, you know, people are, are they're always so worried about, uh, you know, people stealing uh, other people's ideas, but I mean, I'm in my opinion, there's plenty to go around. Um, majority of what I sell is used clothing um, and shoes. Uh, you can get it really, really cheap at thrift stores, at, um, you know, the Goodwill Outlet is a place you could go, um, garage sales, stuff like that. I also do some sourcing off of Craigslist sometimes, or offer up if I can find something cheap enough. Um, that I know I can flip for a decent profit. Um, I also get a decent amount of stuff for free. Don't always discount what you can get for free because you can make a good amount of money off of free stuff. So I think um, for this first episode I will just go over some of the stuff that I have laid out. Um, so you guys can get an idea of what I sell, um, how much I bought it for, and what I plan on selling it for. Uh, so, uh, first up, this piece is a cup holder from a Subaru Legacy a 2010. Um, used to be my car, not anymore, and when I traded it in, I took everything that wasn't screwed down. Old wallet. Um, don't ever discount things that are yours that you don't want anymore. So this is an old wallet of my husband's. It'll still sell for probably like 20 bucks. Um, golf shoes, as you can see there. Foot Joy. Golf shoes sell really, really well. and for a lot of money, and you can usually get them pretty cheap. Um, like these ones, for example, I bought for $10, and I will probably get um, 40 or 50 bucks for them, so. Same thing. But these are women's. Um, not as, you don't get as much for women's. I mostly sell only men's uh, clothing, um, and I do do men's and women's shoes. But as far as my experience goes, I don't get as much for women's golf shoes. These are also Foot Joy. Um, paid seven bucks for them. Probably get like thirty. Doc Martens. These are kind of like the sneaker tennis shoe type. Um, 
not sure how much I paid for these. Uh, I think I paid like four or five bucks for them. Probably get like 30. Um, people really like the floral print. These are like the canvas. Um, people also really, really like the vintage Doc Martens. So if you can get the ones that are made in England, that's definitely a bonus. But any Doc Martens usually do pretty well. These are Allen Edmonds um, dress shoes. These are kind of just like a casual dress shoe. Um, in the past, Allen Edmonds always does really, really well. And if, especially if you can get the wide size, uh, these are just a regular, so, but they're a good size, size 11, so maybe 40 bucks. Um, you always want to check the soles, make sure that they look good. Uh, these ones seem to be in pretty decent condition. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe like 40 bucks. I paid 15. Well, give or take, I always have the 25% uh, uh, off coupons or I go on the military days where they give 25% off at the Goodwill. Uh, these are cross-country ski boots, um, rousing all. Uh, they make cross-country skis and regular ski stuff, so um, good company. As you can see here, these are the carbon fiber ones. These are women's. I paid $8 for these. Um, it is the winter right now, so this is a good time to list these. They are in excellent condition, and I should probably get like 70 or 80 bucks for those. see here. These are Johnson & Murphy. I usually am pretty picky about Johnson & Murphy. Um, if they're cheap enough, I'll get them, but uh, otherwise, unless they're made in the USA, which these ones are. I don't know if you can see that. It says it right there, made in the USA. I usually stay away. Um, again, these are ones you want to check, make sure there's no soft spots on the soles. I paid seven dollars for these. I'll probably get like thirty, thirty-five. Oh, let's see, these are vintage Doc Martens. Um, these are super ugly, in my opinion. Um, not sure. Doesn't say whether or not where it's made. But regardless, even if I only sell them for 20 bucks, still made money. Um, let's see, I paid seven bucks for those. These are Echo men's slip-on loafers. Um, soles are in really good condition. And uh, I paid seven bucks for these. I actually don't know how much I would get for these. I have never sold Echo before, so maybe like 30 bucks. Moving on. Lacoste polo shirt. Um, usually I get like $25 for these, um, long sleeves sell better, bigger sizes sell better, um, this is like a men's large, uh, they usually do pretty well. This is a women's, uh, Mac Pack, uh, sweatshirt new with tags. I know I paid like $10 for this. I'll probably get about 50. Uh, this is a pretty expensive company that's pretty popular. Um, they make like outdoor clothing and uh, you know backpacks and stuff like that. Um, if you can find it, good on you. Uh, this is the only Mac pack item I've ever found. So this is Kids Thomas Dean. Um, Thomas Dean always does the, uh, flip cup. Let's see if it'll focus there. 
with the, the design, the uh, different design on the other side of the cuff. Honestly, I have not done very well with Thomas Dean in the past, and I purchased this a long time ago, and probably will not purchase another Thomas Dean shirt again, unless I find one for like a dollar. Columbia. Columbia is always a hit or miss. Um, their PFG performance fishing gear stuff does pretty well. Otherwise, I kind of stay away from it. Um, their outerwear is not like, not even a really a mid-range quality, more of a low quality. I would say like uh, base, you know, base level North Face is kind of like mid-range. Um, so Columbia, you know, I'll get their, their fishing gear. This is like a long sleeve. I really like long sleeve shirts. Um, like moisture wicking type material so this will probably sell for like 15 bucks um, so Columbia is kind of a hit or miss uh, the high range of Columbia it's actually another company called Mountain Hardware um, but you know they're, they're one in the same so if you ever see Mountain Hardware that's definitely something you want to pick up uh, this is a O'Neill jacket kind of like a nice like fall lightweight jacket with the packable hood. Uh, I think I picked this one up for like five dollars, probably sell it for thirty. Um, this here is a women's vintage DKNY windbreaker. Um, vintage windbreakers always do really well for me, so whenever I can pick one up cheap enough, I do. This will probably sell for forty. is an Adidas quarter zip pullover men's um, super soft this will probably sell for about 20 I don't usually get Adidas clothing unless it's Adidas pants or Adidas shoes um, they're just not as popular as Nike or Under Armour this is a Travelsmith jacket um, I don't normally pick up Travelsmith just on its own but this came in a huge lot of like 200 things that I bought um, so might as well sell it. I'll probably get like 20 bucks. Um, this here is a Brooks Brothers shirt. Uh, Brooks Brothers always does really well. Um, they make, you know, mid to high end uh, men's dress clothing. Um, if you can, I always pick up the ones with the embroidery with the little pig on it. Um, Otherwise, even the regular stuff sells pretty well. Uh, if you can find linen, that sells pretty well. Uh, this is a Banana Republic. I don't usually buy Banana Republic. If I can get it cheap enough for like a dollar or two a piece, I might pick it up if it's a good color. Um, stuff like this sells really good in lots. So if you can get like five or six shirts all the same size, sell it as like a lot you know, for 10 or 12 bucks per item. Um, that can really add up and usually sells pretty quickly. Um, but if I do get Banana Republic, I always try to get Slim Fit because it sells better. Same thing here. Brooks Brothers dress shirt. These usually sell for about 20 bucks a piece, even for the basic ones. Um, Everything I do, I always do plus shipping, so, you know, I, I will either, if it's over a pound, I charge padded flat rate envelope, which is $7.25. If it's under a pound, I usually only charge for 10 ounces for first class, which is $4.45. Um, and I always do best offers on all my listings, so I would say about 40% of them still sell for full price. And the rest of them usually is only a couple dollars off, so whatever you can do to get the sale. It's a vintage REI pullover men's. Um, REI branded stuff actually does pretty good. Um, you know, their, their shirts, their pants, stuff like that, uh, fleece. So I've, I've never had any issues selling anything REI branded. Vintage always is good too.
This is a guess um, jeans, kind of like a western type snap down shirt. Uh, I don't usually pick up guess clothing items unless it's like like the guess t-shirts, especially like the v-necks graphic t-shirt. Um, those do surprisingly really well. You can sell a t-shirt for 20 bucks. Um, but the regular stuff I don't usually get and I don't know if I've ever sold a pair of their jeans, but I wouldn't expect more than like 10 bucks for that. Uh, this logo right here, this is a company called WESEC, W-E-S-C. Um, I think it stands for We Are the Superlative Conspiracy. Um, it was a company started by that guy, um, My Name is Earl. Um, that skateboarder is the guy who started this company. So this is actually a women's sweatshirt. Um, probably get like 20 bucks for that, plus shipping. Now, so here's a company, uh, Polo, kind of all over the place. Um, I would pay very, very close attention to the design of the shirt, um, like the pattern on there. Really bright colors sell really well. Um, different styles sell better because uh, there's all sorts of styles. I mean, this is like a a Yarmouth. Um, there's Blake. There's Big Shirt. There's Custom Fit. There's Classic Fit. There's all sorts of different polo styles. Um, then you have this, which is a uh, blue and white tag. There's also the blue and yellow tags, which is the newer stuff. So that sells better too. Um, there's the Knit Oxfords. Those sell really well. Um, anything SimFit sells really well. So Polo is just all over the board. On average, I would say I get $20 per shirt. Um, so here's that company I was talking about earlier. Mountain Hardware. So you can see that little nut there. That's what their logo looks like. So I would keep an eye out for that logo because their stuff sells really, really well. And it's expensive. Probably get 25 bucks for that shirt. Um, so here's a company I do really, really good with, actually. Uh, this is more of like a vintage. This is what I would call like a thermal shirt where it kind of has that waffle print. Um, and it's Lucky Brand. Um, their vintage graphic t-shirts sell really, really good. I mean, I'll probably get $22 for this shirt plus shipping. Um, but that's really the only thing that I sell from them. Here is another polo. Um, this one will probably do pretty good because of kind of like that material that they use. Um, it has the, let's see, the multicolor pony. Um, it's not the best size. It's kind of a small size, but still probably 20 bucks for that. Another polo shirt, nice bright colors, got that aqua teal, multicolored pony, um, it's a custom fit, extra large. I will probably list this for 25 and see what happens. Um, here's another polo. Now these do not do very well. It's like the quarter zip pullover, like overshirt, sweatshirt type thing. Um, that they, they just don't sell for that much money, so I don't ever buy them unless I get them super cheap. If you can find the full zip sweatshirts or hoodies, those do really, really well. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, this one, the reason I picked this one up is because it is a 2XLT. So this is a big and tall size. Um, big and tall does really, really, really good. So especially polo big and tall always sells right away. Here, Nike dry fit, kind of like a workout shirt, 15 bucks. Another example of the Brooks Brothers men's dress shirt. You probably get $25 for those with the, with the embroidery pig. Um, depending on the color, you could probably get even more.
this is one of those Thomas Deans that I was talking about earlier with the flip cuff um, men's you know I'll probably list this for $20 and see if I can get a best offer on it another Brooks Brothers men's dress shirt Here's a company I don't really know much about, uh, Scott Barber. So I know I picked up a few of these, they were all the same size, and I figured I would just sell them as a lot. So hopefully like 15 bucks a shirt. Here's a company that I have a love-hate relationship with. Um, if you can find the polos, make sure it has the little crown embroidery on there. If it doesn't, I probably wouldn't get it. Um, this is kind of like a performance, like that stretchy, like moisture wicking material, which is really, really nice and very desirable in a men's dress shirt like this. It's, um, nice colors. Let's see if you can see those colors. Kind of like a blue and a purple. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, check, but it's Peter Millar, which... For some reason, you know, people, I always talk about people, or I always see people say, you know, Peter Millard is really good for them. Doesn't do too great for me. Um, although I have picked up a cashmere sweater from them that I sold for $60, which, that was good. Um, I have picked up pants from them, which have sold for a lot. So, I think it's just maybe the polos for me not so well. Um, I did pick up this just because of the material it's made out of and honestly could probably sell it for like 40 bucks. So yeah. Um, companies that do do really good in the same kind of category which would be like men's golf golf clothing would be like Travis Matthew. Um, every time I get one of those shirts I list them they sell instantly 30 bucks. Or Foot Joy. Um, like golf polos I list them 25 bucks they sell always right away. Uh, this is Cactus Brand Original Flannel. So these sell pretty good. Um, you can usually get like 20 bucks for these. This here is Hugo Boss. I do not like Hugo Boss. It does not sell well. You should be very, very cautious when picking up Hugo Boss. It is a company where, you know, you should pay attention to uh, the color of the logo, if it's a black tag, red tag, orange tag, um, and also the design on the shirt. Um, otherwise, if it's not, you know, something that is super desirable, I wouldn't pick it up. At least for dress shirts. Pants do well, shorts do well, stuff like that. Here's a pair, um, practically brand new men's Sperry Top Sider flip flops. I expect I'll probably get like 25, maybe 20 bucks for these. Um, Sperry's actually don't really sell very well, so I don't usually pick them up. I'm not going to say they don't sell well, they just don't sell for a lot. This here, this is actually, so this is kind of like the old style army uh, BDU uh, woodland camo. Um, and this is uh, an authentic military uniform item. Um, so whenever you see tags like this, whether or not it be in like a sweater or you see a tag that says like DSCP. Um, this is an actual uniform item. I don't know how much this will sell for, but I expect I could probably get at least 30 or 40 bucks. I mean, it's thick and heavy and, you know, people are going to think that's cool. Uh, men's Adidas with the massage um, pain givers. These things are so painful to wear, but
probably 20 bucks for these. They're in pretty good condition. They're not too beat up, so. This was an interesting find. So the, this is new without tags. It's never been worn. Um, these are $125 new. And this is all like welded and like super high quality. Um, these are Quicksilver. You can see all the seams are welded. They're stretchy. These are really, really, really nice. I suspect I should be able to get $50 for these. These men's polo deck shoes, um, really good condition, barely been worn, um, maybe 20, 25 bucks, not really expecting a whole ton. Calvin Klein, cheap dress shoe, 15 bucks, maybe. This Blackhawk tactical vest, um, you know, I looked these up and they weren't selling for as much as I thought they would, so maybe 50 bucks. Um, same thing with this one, Blackhawk tactical, tactical vest, again, maybe 50 bucks. Um, it does have the extra uh, magazine pouches in there. So. This is a level two, I believe, um, M9 Beretta gun holster. Um, also made by Blackhawk. I don't know on this one. Maybe, um, 30. Pants always seem to do pretty well for me. Nautica, Banana Republic, G Crew, stuff like that. Um, these are Nautica men's kind of blue like dress slacks. I usually get 20 bucks, 25 bucks a piece plus shipping. Men's Under Armour, US Navy, gym shorts, um, I would say 17 or 18 dollars. Men's Nautica, Chino, khaki, shorts, same thing, $17, $18. American Eagle, um, the prep, khaki, chino, shorts. I usually get like 20, 21, 22 for those. Um, I really, really, really like to sell American Eagle pants and shorts. Um, they always do really, really, really well for me. Uh, here's a company. Uh, super dry. If you ever see super dry, uh, it always sells pretty good for me, especially men's. Um, they're really expensive. Um, they're very, very hard to find super dry stores here in the U.S. anymore. I think maybe only in uh, New York, L.A., uh, Las Vegas. Uh, there used to be one here. I live in Minnesota at the Mall of America, but they closed down. So for these t-shirts, I'll probably get like $21, $22 a piece. Um, here's just a basic American Eagle t-shirt. $10 maybe. If that. These are the, the Polo Jeans Company. See that nice little embroidery down there? All these details and stuff like that always help. I don't know why, but my camera just turned off there, so... I guess, um, that's what we're doing. So anyways, Defy Drug Education, 
for the youth. I have no idea, really. Like, I'll look it up right now and see. Um, I do know that it's a military-only program, so kind of like D.A.R.E. Hmm, there are a couple challenge coins listed. So, eh, you know, maybe I will list that for 20 bucks and see. Here's that other pair of those shorts that I was talking about. Um, and as you can see, they are $125 new. And they are like super nice, super, super well built. And that's what I'm hoping I could get probably like 50 bucks a pair. Probably even more for this one since it still has tags. A pair of men's Hurley shorts. Um, 20 bucks for those. And here, Levi's dress pants, black, 20 bucks for those. Um, that's kind of all that I have in this bin behind me. I will do more episodes because I probably still have like, you know, over a thousand things to list. I probably can, I could list, if I did like all day, you know, 100, 150 items a day, I usually only will do maybe 50 items a day, which is still a lot. I mean, that's a lot of making drafts, taking pictures, all that sort of stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you guys like this video, I can make more. I can make more about how I actually do eBay and the process, um, making a draft, taking pictures, listing, all that stuff. And from here on, um, all the money that I'm making for this challenge, I will record how much I have, um, how much I make in a day, you know, whatever, how much I reinvest in the business, how much I have to take for myself, um, and see how fast I can literally get to a million dollars. Um, my next step after eBay will probably be Amazon, uh, FBA. So start sending things into Amazon, and from there, we'll just have to see. So thanks for watching.